What's up, Coconut? My name is Thomas, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install the Java JDK. This video is for anyone who's interested in learning how to install the Java JDK, but it also serves as the entry point into a new series that I'm doing called Closure Script from Scratch. So even if you're not interested in learning Closure Script, I recommend sticking around because all this video is gonna cover is how to install the Java JDK. I've even provided timestamps in the description below so you can jump ahead to the sections that are more interesting to you. So as I said, this is a new series, Closure Script from Scratch, and where this all begins is with Java. The reason this begins with Java is because Clojure, like other languages like Scala or Kotlin, are JVM languages. And what that means is that they're built on top of the JVM. So in order to run and develop in Clojure, you actually have to have the Java JDK installed locally. If this makes you squeamish, the idea of having to depend and be part of the Java ecosystem, I'm going to say give it a try because Clojure is well worth learning. In addition to that, I think you're going to find once you get more into Clojure that the JVM is actually one of the superpowers of Clojure. Why do we actually need this video? What I found is that if you're coming from a language like Python or JavaScript, the ecosystem that is Java can be a little bit confusing and intimidating. I mean, there are like five different distributions of OpenJDK alone. Which one do you use? Why do you use one over the other? And all of this starts by answering the question, what is the Java JDK? Without going into super fine grained detail, the JDK itself is made up of three different things. There's the JVM, the library set, and the development tools. And by development tools, we mean things like the debugger, compiler, and executor. Altogether, these things combined create what is the Java JDK or the Java development kit. But enough about that, let's jump right into what we're actually gonna be doing today. What we're looking at on the left side of the screen right now is the Adopt Open JDK Community Project. This is an amazing product providing us with a free maintained distribution of Open JDK. And don't worry if you don't actually know what this means right now, for example, Open JDK, I'm gonna do a follow-up video and it's gonna dive into more detail about what this actually means. And again, before we even begin, I just want to let you know that I'm running Mac OS 10.15.2, or more affectionately known, Catalina. Now, let's jump into what actually goes into installing Java. I'm going to jump over to the terminal right now. We're going to perform a quick sanity check. This is how you verify whether or not you have Java installed locally. So we're going to type in Java space dash version. And when we press enter, it's going to say that there is no runtime and it's going to throw up this pop up. All we have to do is click OK, because I'm going to show you how to actually go about installing OpenJDK and we'll clear this up. Now we'll go back over to here. And what we're going to see is on the Adopt OpenJDK site, they have several options. The one we want to select is OpenJDK 11, which is the long-term support version. And we're just going to keep the Hotspot version selected. The difference between Hotspot and OpenJ9, without going into too much detail, is that OpenJ9 has actually optimized its memory profile. Now, having said that, Hotspot is the most popular version of the JVM that is currently used. So we're going to go ahead and install that one. All we have to do from here is click latest release, and that's going to install the JDK installer for us. Open JDK has finished installing, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to open up the installer window, and I want you to take a beat right now and take a look at the path where the installer is actually going to install Open JDK. It's library slash Java slash Java virtual machines. If anything goes wrong for any reason and you need help debugging, that's going to be helpful while you're debugging. So from here, all we're going to do is click continue, press continue again, agree to the terms and services. Yes, we can do that. And we'll go ahead and install it. And now our installation process has begun. This will only take a moment. Sweet. And we are done. We can just move that to the trash now. And the final thing that we have to do is actually show that it did install properly. And the way that we do this is type Java dash version again, just as before, except this time we're going to see a bunch of versions and information about the adopt open JDK distribution that we just installed. 
And with that, we have now successfully installed the Java JDK. Now, if that was a little anticlimactic, I agree with you. This was a short video and it was relatively pain free. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a follow up video, which is going to dig into more details about what we actually did and why we installed this version as opposed to another version. That's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found the video helpful, please leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all later. Bye.